I'm a soldier bound for glory. I'm a soldier going home. Come and hear me tell my story. All that love the Savior come. I will tell you what induced me in this glorious fight to start was the Savior's loving kindness overcame man won my heart many say that I'm too noisy while I tell you the reason why if they only felt the glory they would shout as well as I been to death's dark swelling river like a warrior I will come, then I'll shout to God's salvation, singing glory, going home. I love Jesus, hallelujah. I love Jesus, yes I do. I love Jesus, he's my savior. Jesus smiles and loves me too. Amen. Amen. God's good. Amen. First Timothy chapter number three. I want to read one verse right here. Verse 16. Oh, this is a wonderful verse out of the Word of God. And then this bring them a simple message this morning that God burdened our heart with. And I believe that he's a soldier, amen. His name's Jesus Christ. Yes. He's heaven's greatest soldier. Uh, but I want to just use an illustration this morning. And my father, as I mentioned, he was the greatest man I know. He wasn't a real spiritual man, but my father. And I never saw this uniform in my life until I started dealing with my state uh, up at home. And he was in a cedar chest way down in the bottom under a bunch of quilts, Brother, Ly uh, Brother Jerry. And uh, it was daddy's uniform. And I had it cleaned down there. And it even had the tie and, and, and everything. And, and I was so amazed that my daddy, and when he left to, to go to war, he told mama, he said, I'm going to go fight uh, so my boy don't have to. I didn't have to go. I would have went if I was called. I, I wasn't called to go. I missed the Vietnam War. I, I didn't sure didn't join up, amen. Uh, but I wasn't called. But anyway, in, in, in Daddy's pockets was, and I, I got his Bible and all that, and there's a bunch of tracks, but he carried this track around. It's so old, ladies and gentlemen, I'm just, I gotta be really careful with it. But he carried it around through the war, and it says, the man that died for me. Amen. And you know the end of this track. Amen. His name is Jesus Christ. Amen. And my daddy's picture's right down here in front, and I could go down here and pick him out, but I, I'm going to bring a message real quick. Read this verse with me in First Timothy chapter 3, verse number 16. Bible says without controversy, and that, that means without conflict of opinion or dispute. I'm here to tell you about an undisputed champion of love. Yes. His name's Jesus Christ. Amen. There's no dispute, ladies and gentlemen, about who he is. There's no controversy there. Can we lay that aside? Without controversy, great is the mystery of godliness. God was manifest in the flesh. He was justified in the spirit. He was seen to the angels, preached unto the Gentiles, 
believed on in the world, received up into glory. Let's pray. Father, I thank you for what I felt this morning. It's been amazing that you rehearsed in my heart how God a soldier and what a soldier really means. I, I can't preach without you. I realize the little illustration of my daddy's uniform and his picture and the little gospel track, no doubt, that he believed on the Lord Jesus Christ and, and he saved and in heaven. Uh, and Lord, maybe this morning, God, uh, uh, you just want to take us and use us for a little while. Uh, uh, make us some blessings as we preach on heaven's greatest soldier. And Lord, how you fought the battle for us. Uh, how we were headed for hell, Lord. Uh, and we were in our sins, but yet uh, uh, you came and fought hell off our backs. Uh, and more days a sinner in this room. Uh, uh, may they see the Lord Jesus, uh, uh, God greater than they ever have this morning. Uh, uh, maybe there's a soldier in the building uh, and they're fighting a battle overwhelmed in their mind and soul. Uh, uh, God, make it easy now to bring this word of God. Uh, uh, Lord, I'll be careful to honor you, Lord, uh, and bless you for you're the greatest uh, of all greatest. Uh, and Lord, I give you praise for what I sense right now. Uh, uh, that anointing, God, that's gonna come. Uh, I bless you for it right now, for it's in Jesus' name. Uh, and for his sake to pray, uh, amen, uh, and amen. And I want to preach this morning on heaven's uh, greatest soldier. And I believe you all agree with me. He's undisputed, a champion of love. Say amen right there. I believe there's no conflict, no dispute upon who he is. He is the greatest of all greatest. He's the highest of highest. Uh, uh, there ain't nobody like Jesus uh, God exalted him uh, and given him a name uh, that's above every name uh, and at the name of Jesus uh, every knee will bow and every tongue will confess uh, uh, that he's Lord uh, to the glory of God uh, I want you to see his coming I uh, notice his coming uh, into this world uh, uh, my daddy left and go to uh, Philippines and thought the Japanese there. Uh, he didn't talk about it, no doubt. Uh, uh, there was probably a lot of killing went on. Uh, Brother Doug, uh, he didn't talk about it. Uh, I didn't ask him about it. Uh, uh, but he thought so I wouldn't have to fight. He went for me so I wouldn't have to die. And one day, heaven's greatest soldier, he came down. Uh, uh, glory to God and died for me so I wouldn't have to die. Can I have an amen here at the house of God? His coming. He left home. He left home. My daddy left home. He left us. Oh Lord, can you imagine what our Savior left? He left the street of gold. He left the walls of Jasper. He left the pearly city. He came down after uh, this sin cursed world that's the greatest soldier heaven ever had how uh, can I have an amen right there glory to God I say hallelujah uh, for heaven's soldier wow I'm glad he come he left heaven look how far he come glory to God he left the uh, third heaven and came down to this sin first I was he took upon himself flesh at John 1 and 1 I said in the beginning was the word and the word was with God and the word was God and the same as in the beginning with God all things were made by him and without him not anything was made uh, that was made in him was life and the life was the light of man and the light shined in darkness and the darkness comprehended it not. Wow! Verse 14 says the word. I became flesh and dwelt among us and we beheld his glory as the only begotten of the Father full of grace and truth. He left 
hope had come to a world. In John 1 11, said he came to his own, and his own received him not. But the many received him. Uh, to them gave it power uh, to become the sons of God, even to them that believe on his name. I say, Hallelujah! For heaven's greatest soldier, he left home. My daddy left home. Hey Amen. And he went to fight the Japanese. Hey Amen. He got all these, these stripes. I don't know what all that means. Praise God. Got little bars here. And got little emblems here. I believe he was a sergeant. Anybody know he thinks that what that means? <laughs> it means he, God Almighty, it means he pulled off that old hillbilly garment. Amen. It come from the mountains. And he put on, he put on the uniform. And he left us home. One day, Jesus, he laid aside that glory. He didn't lay aside being God, but he laid aside his glory and took upon himself human flesh. Can I have an amen? The greatest soldier left home and he laid aside his garments. He laid aside how many bleeds his God say amen. Hallelujah, Isaiah said it right. Isaiah 9 verse 6, for unto us a child is born. Unto us a son is given. And the government shall be upon his shoulders. And they shall call his name Wonderful. A counselor. A the mighty God. Everlasting Father. And the Prince of Peace. A Galatians 4 verse 4. How many believe is born of a virgin? How many believe still believe that, don't you? Say amen. A Galatians 4 verse 4. In the fullness of time. God sent for his son, I made of a woman, I made under the law, to redeem them that are under the law, that we might receive the adoption of sons. Glory to God, he came, pulled off his earthly garment, I may pull off that heavenly garment and put on a garment of flesh and sin. Say amen right there. How many believes God made him be sin for us? You remember in the garden in Matthew 26, he went a little further and he looked in that cup and he saw your cussing. He saw your blaspheming. He saw your drink. He saw your dope. He saw your illicit sex. He saw how mean. How you would not you, darling. Of course not. Hey, no, not you. Well, let me find some meanings here. Hey, God, my, hey I want to go back here and find some meanings. All the meanings are on the back side row back there. Oh, and a guy. But it don't matter what you's done. Somebody, I'm about to climb the beaches. It don't matter how much beer you drunk, how much dope you drunk. It don't matter how much sex you done. It don't matter what you looked at. It don't matter where you been. It don't matter the honky dog you was in. He loved you anyway. He put off that heavenly garment. Wow! Right? And he took my sin. He took my shame. He took my hell. That's 2 Corinthians 5, 21. God made him to be sin for us and knew no sin that we might be the righteous God in him. I was touching the bad one. <laughs> yeah, man, glory to God. Somebody say amen right there. Hallelujah, heaven soldier came. He came to this world. He left home, laid down his garments. He pulled off that heavenly God. Can you imagine what it looked like? Eternity, the sovereign God of glory. He was dressed in a robe of holiness, righteousness, glory shined. It filled the temple. Heaven lit up because of him. Honey, but he came, Cheryl, and he said, I'll take her. I'll take her sin. I'll take her meanness. I'm getting to a mean one right here. Say amen, Richard. Hallelujah to God. And he said, Woo! I'll put her on her guard. I'll become sin for her. How many say amen for his coming? How many's glad he took your sin? 
Peter said, him that knew no sin, neither guile was found in his mouth. Hallelujah, to his own self. I bear our sins in his own body on the tree. That we being dead to sin, I should live under us. By whose stripes we're healed. I'm healed. I'm healed. Woo! Physically, as far as I know, everything wrong with me. Hallelujah, I'm gonna keep it that way by the grace of God. Hallelujah, you can have your sickness. You can have all that. You better go oh, to God, hallelujah. Thank God, Brother Donnie, what happened when sin come into the world? It brought sickness. It brought cancer. It brought heart attacks. Your mama's sick cause sin. I'm praying for her, she get better. The best thing you can do is Pray for her too. Say amen. Hallelujah to God. I'm not saying because you're sick you sin. I did not say that. God allows folk to be sick. He allowed Lazarus to be sick, didn't he? In John 11, he said, it's all right, disciples. Well, they said, why don't you come heal him? Hey, just let him die. Let him die. And I'll show you how good God is. So let old Lazarus die. Is that not right? And he said plainly, he's dead. He's graveyard dead. But I've come. Hallelujah, I was dead in the trespass of my sin. I was graveyard dead. I was a walking dead. I was a human corpse. I, but one day he came down to my tomb and he spoke. He said, come out of there, Donnie. I come out of that sin. I come out of that ungodliness. I come out of that blaspheme. Save my hand for his coming. He left home and laid aside to go on himself, my sin. What about his command? Amen. Heaven's soldier in his command. Amen. My daddy's right in yonder. Right there is Naaman Zachariah Dalton. But look at all them men. Amen. He's right there, Bobby. My good daddy taught me how to be a man. He's right there. He taught me how to be a man. He is a man of man's. Amen. He, he, oh God, this blessing me. Blessing socks on me. All they had to drink in the Philippines was beer unless they drunk the water. And my daddy had such a strong conviction he wouldn't drink beer. Can you imagine that? He wouldn't drink beer. He told this for a fact. So he drunk that staunch water. And it was full of malaria. And he got malaria. So I wouldn't have to. He'd freeze to death and you couldn't warm him up. He'd burn up and you couldn't cool him down. He never got over malaria. You can't get no, hey, you can't get no healing. But one day, Jesus came. Hallelujah. He took all my diseases. He took cancer. He took heart attacks. He took it all in the garden. He, he said, let this cup pass for me, but not my will, but thine be done. Woo! Can I have a shout, God's people? There's healing in his wings. There's healing in the blood. There's healing in the heaven. Soldier, amen, glory to God. Woo! Thank God. Hallelujah. Am I not preaching right? Say amen. I'm feeling good. <laughs> heaven soldier, Jesus. Amen. Remember his coming. Amen, remember his command. Look what he done right here in verse number. I just read one verse in it. God was manifesting the flesh, uh, but he was justified in the spirit. What did he do through his command? He satisfied God. He satisfied God. Say man, there's only one that could satisfy God. His name's the greatest soldier in heaven. Hey, what happened in Matthew 3, 17? You remember when John put him under? at the Jordan River and baptized him. He put him under and heaven opened up and a dove come down, lit on his shoulder, a person of the Holy Ghost. And then a heaven opened up and there's a voice out of heaven said, this is my beloved son and whom I'm well pleased. In Matthew 17 verse five, heaven opened up again 
had Peter said, Lord, as he saw the Shekinah glory of Jesus, he said, let us build three tabernacles. I one for Moses, one for Elijah, and one for thee. About that time, heaven opened up and said, wait a minute, Peter. Ain't the one counts in this field. His name's Jesus Christ. He said, hey, man, this is my beloved son in whom I'm well pleased. Hear ye him. He satisfied God. The Bible says in Isaiah 53, verse 10, it pleased God how to bruise him. It pleased God to have him tortured on the cross. They spit on him till the spit run down. Caphas got up in his face and spit on him and said, you're a blasphemer. Cause he said, I am. In three days, I'll build this temple again. And it's... <laughs> Woo! Hallelujah! Uh, Jesus made the illustration. Uh, Jonah three days and three died in the well's belly. Uh, Hallelujah! Uh, and uh, had the rider come back and said, "There's one greater than Jonah." Uh, had the queen of Sheba went and saw the temple uh, and said, "Wow, this is great." Uh, and the rider said, "There's one greater here uh, than the temple." Can I tell you, glory to God? He's satisfied. God, Revelation 13, verse 8, says he is slain before the foundation of the world. See, he died before you ever come into existence. They didn't have to search for him. He stepped up and said, I'll be the Lamb of God. And John saw him on the banks of the Jordan. Said, behold, the Lamb of God. How they take it away, the sins of the world. He's heaven's greatest soldier. Praise God, look at his command. He satisfied God. But he has seen the angels. You know them angels right now see you come to heaven. He saw my sister coming to heaven and said, Lord, how'd she get here? And if you get there, they'll say the same thing about you. Amen, and they had to back up. God said, back up. You just don't know that's the redeemed. How they're coming out of the north, the south, how the east and the west. They've been washed in the blood. It ain't God what you done. It ain't the church you joined. It ain't the water you got in. It ain't nothing good you done. It's what he done. Woo! He has seen the angels. When that virgin brought forth that son, brought forth that son of God, angels backed up and sung multitude. Hey man, when Jesus tempted on Matthew 4, that devil come tempting, and when he got done with him, you know what showed up? Angels, and they ministered to him. How, you know, they'd like to have the blood on them, but they can't get the blood. Hey man, they're created beings, but guess what, we got a soul. Say man, dogs ain't got soul, possum ain't got soul. I set a trap and caught a possum. Yeah, I'm a trapper now. <laughs> I was actually after a groundhog. I said the trap's set, put an apple in there, and I come around the corner, Pam said, I said, go look and see if it caught something. She looked and said, something in there, but it ain't a groundhog. I said, what is it? It's a possum. I caught a possum. I don't eat them but I put him out of his misery anyway. <laughs> Say, man. And I reset him, gonna catch the ground. One day there's a big trap set for me and the bait was sin, flesh, and the devil. I was attracted, ladies and gentlemen. So are you sitting here. You're attracted by this world, the flesh, and the devil. And the devil's got a trap snared for you. He's got a big red apple in there. Hallelujah, he's the deceiver of all deceivers. How about time you fix and go in like that old possum? I God stepped in front of the trap. He said, you don't have to. I got better things than the devil. Woo! Ain't you glad he satisfied God? He was seen of angels, glory to God, but he brought salvation. I'm glad I got the salvation of the Lord. Does it some say something about believed on by the Gentiles? Gentiles in there anymore? Say amen right there. Amen. Preached how we need preaching. Say amen. amen. We don't need no more drama clubs, no praise bands. We need some preaching. Yes. We need some Holy Ghost preaching. Yes. God honored preaching. Say amen, I like preaching. 
Hey, 1 Corinthians 1, 18, for the preaching of the cross to them that perish foolish. After us that are saved, it's power of God. How many likes preaching? How many likes wells? I like to do it, glory to God. Hallelujah, you didn't have to beg me. You don't have to pay me. Glory to God, it's an honor. I wouldn't step down for abomination at all. Hallelujah to God. I'm honored above all men. Can I shout, glory to God, there ain't nothing like feeling the anointing of God and the power of God to preach. Say, most people don't like old time preaching. They don't like it no more. They like some dignified schoolboy stand up by a pair of shorts and hang tough and say, you be all right. How can Joe Osteen preaching? Doug, I'll kill you. I got this little new mic, and you swear I'll start making fun of me. I'll pull her off, tear her all pieces. I'll get me one this big around, hang on top of my head. Reason I got it so blessed, God, you're just gonna go to sleep and you can hear me. Greatest soldier ever left heaven, Jesus Christ. When he come, his command was to satisfy God. He's seen the veins, but he brought salvation. How many's glad you was outside the gate and he come in? So come on in, you Gentile dogs. You know that side Phoenician woman? They said, don't pay no attention to her. She said, please help me, Lord, my daughter's dying. Please help me. And he give her some crumbs from the table, amen. Hallelujah to God, one day, I was a Gentile dog outside the gate, but Jesus passed by. Woo! And he brought salvation to an old hell-bent sinner. Ephesians 2, 12 says at that time, you're out Christ, alien from the commonwealth of Israel, stranger from the covenant of promise, having no hope without God in the world. But now, you that sometimes are far off are made nigh by the blood. I was a wild olive branch, buddy, I was wild. So was you. See if I can find some wild ones. I'll come over and smell. Hey, man, say any wild ones here? Hey, man. I still get called wild. But it's a good wild, say, man. Hey, man. Steve, I was a Gentile dog. But God's heaven angel. God's, a, God's greatest soldier. The Lord Jesus Christ come down from heaven. Praise God, and he grafted me in us. On the wild side, wasn't you? Yes. Hallelujah. Romans 11 tells about Israel, and he didn't give up on Israel. Amen. Thank God, I couldn't work my way in. I joined the Baptist church, they put me in water. I was the same old filthy sinner. God and mama said, you're saved, don't you, son? Preacher said, hold your hand up and you're saved. I went home and told my mama knew better. I still lied, I still mean as a rattlesnake. Amen, but 1981, April the 12th, hallelujah, the sweet Holy Ghost showed me how wild and bad I was. Woo! And I went to the salvation of the Lord. Romans 10, 13 says, whosoever shall call upon the name of the Lord shall be saved. When you like Gideon this morning, heaven's greatest soldier, praise God, his command. His coming. But notice his coronation. I'm interested in this. I'll finish right here. How many believe we're going to be there when the crowning king? Ha <laughs> ha. Take that devil. Glory to God. It ain't over until God says it's over. How many believe there's a big coronation day coming? They make all kinds of emphasis on Prince of Wales and the King of England and all them babies been born over there. Glory to God, they ought to get a hold of what I got. Glory to God, amen, I'm a child of the king. I'm a king's kid. And one day, they're gonna crown him. And when they crown him, I'm gonna be there. Does it say he received up in glory? Acts 1, verse number 11 said, This same Jesus that you see taken up to heaven shall so come. In like manner, you've seen him taken up into heaven. Hey, don't be gazing up into heaven. This same Jesus. Hey, man, it'll be different the next time he comes. They won't spit on him. They won't pierce his side. They won't mock him. Go to God. He's coming as king of kings. Received up in glory. What's that mean, brother Don? It means I got some hope. If he didn't leave here, I ain't got no hope. But I got hope, brother Larry. <laughs> Said, brother Don, it looks bad, don't it? You better believe her. I've never seen it so bad. Praise God, hallelujah. 
I wonder, I ain't never seen it so bad. But glory to God, hallelujah. I'm getting out of here because I got hope. How many's got some hope? How many believes you'll get? Because the coronation day's coming for him, I got hope. Because he lives, I can live. Because he got up, I can get up. Hey, honey, he left uh, the Mount of Olives and he's coming back the same way in the same place. Uh, the same cloud that took him up is coming back to get him. <laughs> Woo! And when he steps, he's gonna split. Glory to God, but we'll be with him. Come on now. Say amen. How many's glad you got the victory? Yes, Heaven's greatest soldier. I got hope. 1 Corinthians 15, 19, 7, this not solemnly we have hope in Christ. We're all men most miserable. You like 1 Thessalonians chapter 4, verse 13, brethren, I would not have you to be ignorant concerning them which are asleep. That you saw or not even as others which have no hope. But if you believe that Jesus died and was buried and rose again, even them that sleep in Jesus, will God bring with them? I got hope. And because he's being coronated, that coronation day's coming, I got some help. Say, man, I got some help for my life daily. How many can call on him any time? My little old boy sang that song, I can call Jesus any time. He ain't got smartphone. He done way per surpassed smartphones. I just got me one and praise God, I can't even operate the thing. Glory to God, I'm pushing so many buttons. I'd probably call the president for it. But I got one anyway, glory to God. But ain't you glad you can call him any time? He don't put, on, he don't put it on buzz. He don't put it on hold. Thank God he's right there for help any time. I'm glad I can call him when I'm sick. I can call him when I need something. He's right on time, every time. Say amen. How many are glad we got a great high priest? Hey man, he's passing to heaven. Pope gonna do you a bit of good. It took Mother Teresa 30 something, took it all up to become a saint. Praise God, it just took me one trip to an old fashioned altar. And you're looking at Saint Donnie. And if you ain't a saint, you're an ain't. Ain't no, ain't no gray air with God. You're either in or you out. Say amen right there. Praise God, I'm glad I got somebody up there in heaven. That Old Testament uh, priest, he went into the uh, atonement place and there wasn't no tear in there. He had to keep working, ringing them bells and them plum granites around that. He had to keep working. But our Savior one day, John 19, 30, he said, it's finished. I thank God, hallelujah. And when he left, he sat down, glory to God. Hebrews 10, 12, but this man, after he'd offered one sacrifice for sin, I forever sat down at the right hand of God. Hebrews 12, and verse number two, looking unto Jesus, the author and finisher of our faith, who for the joy that was set before him, in do the cross. I despise the shame. Sit down. Amen. Hebrews 1 verse 3, been the brightness of his glory. Spreads image of his person, upholding all things by the word of his power, by himself, purged our sins. Sit down to right hand of the throne of God. Hebrews 7, 25, wherefore he is able to say to the uttermost and become to God by him. See the ever liveth. Make intercession. See, he interprets my groaning. How many's cried a few tears lately? Amen. How about in the midnight hour when nobody's bawling, knowing you're bawling your eyes out? Amen. Trouble, ain't he? Sure. Trouble. Yeah. Maybe you're missing your loved one. Yeah. Maybe something happened in your family yeah. and you cry your eyeballs out. Yeah. Guess who hears you? Heaven's greatest soldier. He's able. And I thought, not only we got hope, Miss Wanda, not only you get some help, you made it again. I pray for you every day, two or three times a day. You're such a blessing. I said, Lord, keep Sister Wanda here. I gotta have her. I gotta have her. I gotta have her. Amen. And that includes all of you. I'm just close to her. Say amen. amen. Heaven's going to be sweet, ain't it? Amen. 
Don't have to pay no more bills. Won't have to deal with an estate. Because I have not seen or ear heard, neither is any hard man that thanks God prepared for them that love him. To an inheritance incorruptible, undefiled, fading all the way, reserved in heaven for you who are kept by the power of God. Heaven's as sure as I am. Yep. Fort Loudon Electric won't get a dime. No. no. TVA don't get no more money. Revelation 21, verse 23, you know what it says? The light, they'll need no light of the sun, nor the moon, nor the stars. For God himself shall light the city. And the Lamb is the light thereof. Verse 27 says, There'll be nothing in or in that defileth. Nothing that worketh abomination or maketh a lie. Only them that their name's written down in the Lamb's book of life. How many's in that book? Amen. You remember when old Uncle Sam had his face on that sign? And he says, I won't. One day heaven's soldier came down. And he says, I won't you. John 17, that great high priestly prayer, he said, I would, verse 24, that they'd be with me. He wants you with him. A lot of folk are leaving. Soldiers are leaving. Are you ready? Matthew 24, 30, 44, says, watch, for you know not the hour when the Son of Man cometh. Are you ready? Yes. Are you ready? Yes. Slow thoughts. Stand all over the building. Amen. Great. Heaven's greatest soldier. Are you in? Are you in the army? Every head bowed, every eye closed. I don't know, Brother Doug, just whatever you want to. Maybe I'll get my wife and them come back, sing that soldier song again. Unless you've got something else, Brother. Okay, every head bowed, every eye closed. While they make their way up. How many's glad you're saved? Say amen. amen. How many's got burdens this morning? <clears throat> yeah, just lift your hands. Burdens all over the building. Thank you. Just obeying the Lord. How many believes heaven's soldier can handle them? Just lift your hand yes. again. Amen. Amen. He done fought the battle for you. He left home, laid aside his garment. He, hallelujah. One day, we're going to get some heaven in us outside this world. Father, thank you for heaven. Let's preach a little bit, Lord. I hope and pray everybody's saved in the building. I fear some ain't, Lord. I, I fear maybe one lost sinner. God, you came to seek and save that which is lost. God, you didn't leave heaven for no reason but to save the sinner. And God, I pray for that one not saved. God, they wouldn't miss having soldier this morning. They'd come to Jesus. And Lord, maybe that and it's fighting a battle. God, they've been messed up by the world, the flesh, and the devil. And God, they need some power to fight this battle of life. God, I pray you'd open this invitation to whosoever will let them come. I pray God's people mind the Lord. Touch our, our folk to sing this song a good, a number good. Lord, that you'd be blessed and honored and that one come to this altar. And I'll love you and praise you for what you do. For it's in Jesus' name and for his sake I pray. Amen. While they sing this soldier song one more time. I wonder, you fighting a battle. You can't win this morning. You're trying to fight it on your own. Why don't you step out and let heaven's soldier fight for you this morning. Young folk, there's a real devil. They's a real flesh, and they's a real world. But they's a soldier. He can fight for you. While they sing this number, would you honor the Lord and come? They can fight your battle for you. Quit fighting yourself. Well, we're messed up trying to whoop off the flesh, the devil, and the world. We can't do it by ourselves. But heaven's soldier came. Drugs can't fix you, friend. Doctors can't fix you. No. Turn right, darling. 
I believe in all medicine. I believe in doctors. Don't get me wrong, I ain't no nut. But I believe sometimes we'll trust the Lord. We rely on our flesh. Won't, won't you quit relying on what you can do? And won't you let the soldier, heaven's soldier, have your battle? Won't you quit trying to fight it at home, at workplace, fight it at your children? I know folk right now, they're messed up because of this fight. They just fight every day, every day. Try to fix their situation. Won't turn it over to the heavens. So, the Lord Jesus. Come on, somebody needs mine, Lord. Let's get right with God. Come on. Come on, just step out. Let, let me pray for them. Come on, come on. Right now. I believe there's victory in Jesus, don't you? Amen. He can fight for you this morning. He's already. He came for one purpose to fight your battle. 